good morning it's our final day here i think last night was the first time since we came on friday thursday that i slept or fell asleep before 2 a.m i feel like a zombie i don't feel good i'm having a lot of pain in my hands and i suspect it's from wheeling myself around in the wheelchair a lot during this trip I whenever we were inside I tend to tend to wheel myself just because I feel like I have a bit of control over the speed and where I'm going and everything like that um, but I am I really want to take a nap but we have to be out by 12 it's 10 right now so we're just gonna pack together the, the suitcase and everything but I do want to show you um, a thing I bought yesterday, I bought a backpack um, from Accessorize. Like, I wheeled past it, I think, three times, watching it in the window display. And I was like, I need that. That's beautiful. So I'll go pick it up, pick it up in a minute. But um, I think I briefly mentioned last night that the restaurant we went to for dinner, the one I had booked a table on, was on the second floor or the one up from the ground floor and did not have an elevator so I had to walk stairs um, when we arrived outside of the restaurant mum went up to ask if they had any way of getting up there with a wheelchair um, and the building actually has an elevator but it goes straight from the first floor up to the third it skips the second floor entirely and I found that really odd <laughs> Um, and even with the elevator there's still steps to get up to that so it was just I managed to walk it and everything but I am completely worn out from the entire trip um, from the food but the food was good so um, if you have no um, mobility issues like if you can walk stairs and stuff Brasilia is good they have amazing food they have like a buffet which is pretty expensive but I had the vegetarian option you have the meat option as well where they come and serve different types of meat to you at the table that you get to try bits and pieces of so that's cool and I had my first ever mojito and it was amazing so good um, but I feel like I'm decently lucky when it comes to packing because I rarely unpack from trips like I have lived out of the suitcase the only thing I've unpacked is my bag the backpack that I bring on the plane as well as my toiletries and makeup bag everything else has sort of been um, clothing wise taken out when I want to wear them and put back in when I'm done wearing them so it hasn't been an issue but we need to pack it up I am gonna not wear any makeup today I can't be asked so I think I'm just gonna relax for a little bit before I start packing because I, I need it I'm completely exhausted so we've made it to the airport now to get inside That's my wheelchair. We do recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened whenever seated. home well um, after we came home we ordered some food and I've just hung out and relaxed because I'm very very worn out um, but all in all everything has been good I've been exhausted which has been what I kind of expected from the travel but I had a good time so that's nice I flew with Norwegian I was nervous about flying with a wheelchair to be honest but Thumbs up, they've been amazing at both airports. The staff has been great, so that's lovely. Um, but I've had some funny encounters with um, bathrooms especially. Um, 
like the disabled bathrooms and stuff that are meant to be like wheelchair accessible. I've encountered two that I could not um, get into. One of them was at the airport and it had um, the thing at the bottom. Oh, I don't know what that's called. On the floor, essentially. I can't remember the word for it. It's going to be on the screen. Um, um, and I couldn't get my wheelchair over that. So I'm not very good at driving the wheelchair. I've only had it for a couple of weeks. Um, so I don't really know how to drive them. And I know how to get up on to curbs and stuff by myself. I have to have someone do it for me. So that toilet was one I could not get myself into or out of. I needed help. But inside it was perfect. <laughs> but... Then I had an encounter yesterday at the shopping centre where there was no handle on the outside of the disabled toilet. So I had no fucking idea how to get in. Mum had to ask um, at the cafe next to the toilet. And they gave us a code to punch into like um, a code thing um, next to a different door, which opened that door. But I couldn't get a wheelchair in there. It was like I couldn't fit a wheelchair in and I couldn't even get it over the thing at the bottom um, of the door. I was just like, what? So that confused the crap out of me. Um, but uh, mum was there and I can walk um, the distance from the outside of the door into the toilet and blah blah blah. But had I been by myself, I couldn't have not been able to go to the toilet, and that's just weird. But all in all, travelling with the wheelchair has been surprisingly easy um, and nice. It's been nothing with it. So I'm um, happy I have it, because I think had I not had a wheelchair, I would have not been able to go on this trip at all. So I'm glad. <laughs> but I'm going to go to bed. I am so warm. My room is super hot and dad has had the windows open all um all the duration of the time i was away as if i say all week i haven't been gone for a week um but my roly curtain thingy does not stay down when my windows are open and i had them open before i left uh, and i was able to actually have the curtain down and stay down all the way um, with the windows open. Of course, they don't let a lot of air in there, but they were down. Now I can't get it to stay down for the life of anything. I've tried putting the lamp on top of it, I've tried yanking it, I've tried rolling it carefully, and it just doesn't stay down. So I think I'm going to have to close the windows, but I do not want to do that. And I also got stung by a bee. It just seems like the day that everything goes wrong, and everything is just... I feel like a zombie. I'm so ready for bed, but I'm also so extremely hot. I'm gonna have to ask my mum to take the ice pack out of the freezer because I'm not gonna be able to sleep in this weather. That was my problem in bedding as well because our room was probably, I don't think it got colder than 25 degrees Celsius, maybe down to 23 um, last night, but like it was so warm I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so. And in my room right now, it's even hotter, so I need to fix this shit. I also remembered that I have not shown you the backpack I purchased. Right now, I have no clue where it is, because when we packed it, we ended up packing it inside a different backpack just to make it fit. Um, and it's beautiful. I will insert a clip here to show you. It's just, it's perfect. I walked past it three times in the store window and I was like, on the third time, I was just like, I, I need that. It was a bit pricey for the size because it's not the largest backpack, but I just, I like it. So I got it. I also ended up getting two pairs of shoes, which you saw, a lot of makeup. I ended up buying even more makeup today at the Duty Free. I didn't get a lot, but, and then I bought three books. I think I might just do a quick little haul tomorrow or something if I fill up for it. But I'm going to have to get my ice pack and fix this thing. Because I'm not going to be able to sleep. Because today was the hottest day in Tron time in decades. Um, so um, that means the sun's out. The sun gets up on that side. Um, and I have the sun from when it rises until about three in the afternoon. So you can imagine how hot it gets in here when there's nothing blocking it. 
and it also means that it's never properly dark <laughs> and it gets proper light at like 6am and I'm expecting a 12 hour sleep I want a 12 hour sleep because I've slept averaged about 6 hours until last night where I think I got 7 and I normally need 10 to function so I've been running minus all week but it's been it's been good I've been very frustrated and angry though um and that's just how I get when I get tired and exhausted. When my symptoms flare up, my mood shortens and I'm just snappy. But that's that's my life. But I'm going to go to bed. Um, I know I'm very late with the vlogs. But I'm going to probably take a few days off just to, just to relax. But not tomorrow. Because we're going to pick up the puppy tomorrow with the puppy. I called her a puppy. She's like two and a half years old. She's not a puppy. I'm talking about Lucy. Uh, and she had a puppy, I think, on Friday? Saturday? Monday? One of the days. Um, so we get to take her home tomorrow. Because she's been with her owner. Because we're not technically her owner yet. It's a logistic problem. And because of that, I don't think I'm allowed to film the little baby pup. Um... But I might be able to, I may be able to, um, I might be allowed as the sentence I was looking for, I can't speak, I've been able to speak proper Norwegian in like three days, <laughs> so English is the struggle. Um, I might be able to take a picture of it and put it up on Instagram or Facebook, you can't access my Facebook, I'll ask for Instagram because I have to ask the owner's permission and everything. Um, and if I get a permission, I will, if not, I may draw it. <laughs> But I'm excited, I'm so excited, um, I miss the pup a lot, but I need to figure out some kind of logistical issue with this, because that's one thing in Norway, houses don't come with air condition. We are great at insulating our houses, and most houses come with um, a wooden stove or some kind of um, fireplace, I was looking for, fireplace or oven. Um, to heat the houses up during the winter and the houses retain heat very well because of the insulation <sighs> but it's rubbish when it comes to heat because um, the only way of airing out my room is to open the window fully but that doesn't help if there's no wind outside so it's just a nightmare but I'm gonna go to bed Ugh, I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you again tomorrow for the puppy and probably showing you what I ended up buying. So thank you for joining me for this adventure. And I will see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Good night. Roly curtain window thing update. Windows are closed, that's down. I'm not going to let anyone else touch that forever. Honestly, it took me and my mum five minutes. We literally hooked the thing up to it. I don't think it's going to hold very long. And I don't think that's going to do anything. But it doesn't matter because the windows are closed. So this room is going to be a sauna, but at least it's going to be dark.